Hey, look, it's Shanklin. That must mean we're on the Isle of Wight. And whilst we're here, we're going to visit every station on the island line. That sounds like a fun time, actually. So Shanklin is the southern terminus of the island line. Let's uh, hop on a train and begin heading up north. So yes, old tube stock, um, but these are not 230s, these are 484s, they are different trains, these are third rail ones. From my first impressions of these, they seem to have retained more of the original tube carriage features, like some with the openable windows, and the carriages are not fully walk through, they've still got the doors on them. So the first stop, Link. So as with all the island line stations, they don't actually use the sort of conventional station signs. They use just the sort of heritage looking signs. Um, it's also very weird, like despite the fact it's all SWR still, they sort of, the other signs in the SWR style, but are green instead of dark blue. It's, I don't, it interests me anyway. So most of these stations uh, on Long's Line are actually quite walkable between, well, I say most, more on that later. But for now, we're going to walk to Sandown Station. It's about a 17 minute walk to Sandown Station. Um, we've got plenty of time to do it in, like about 40 minutes every trip. Yeah, I think the frequency is around every 40 minutes from what I've seen. Hmm, V. What does V mean? Vissel. Ah, German. I like it. Is there another train passing soon? Because we've got a quite a nice view of the railway line here in this park. In about 10 minutes. And we do have like half an hour to do it, less than we've 10 minutes. We've got time. Walk. I kind of want to just wait here and watch the train go by. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, that was worth the wait. Got a cool shot on the camera. <laughs> So, um, I mean, I imagine we're probably more than halfway to Sandown now. It's actually surprisingly close between these two stations. Okay, Sandown, station number three. Awesome. Something I'm loving about the stations here is that they've got little mini planter boxes that look like the trains on the line. <laughs> They're very cute. They've even got one here too of the X38 uh, stock from the tube. That's one thing that I'm sad about. I'm sad that I never got to experience these trains on the line before they were taken out of service. That would have been so cool. So the reason we're doing the island line now is because literally in a week's time, it is closing for a month. Plus then after that, the ride pier head will be closed for like nine months or so. So time to go to our next station, Smallbrook Junction. Goodness, these trains are bumpy. Getting steady camera shots is a bit hard. So Smallbrook Junction, a rather unique station. What makes it unique? Well, it's the fact that you can't really enter or leave it. Its only purpose is for interchange between the Island Line and the Isle of Wight Steam Railway, the heritage line on the island. So yeah, we are stuck here until another train comes. <laughs> and this is the Steam Railway heritage platform. It's uh, very wooden. <laughs> I like it. We won't be going on the heritage line today, but Still, we can just come here and take a brief look at the platform. Do not trespass on the railway, penalty 200 pounds. <laughs> it's not been that for a, a long time, I don't think. So you think there's a steam train coming in a few it's minutes? It's meant to be, according to the timetable, it's meant to be arriving at 12.01 and our train out of here is like 12.13. Oh. So I would love to see that arrive because even though we won't be getting on it, I, I do love a bit of steam. Oh, nice. Good timing, this one. 
Yeah, we're not getting on, unfortunately, but hey, a nice sight to see nonetheless. Yeah, I really like Smallbrook Junction, probably one of my favourite stations actually so far. Very cute. Yeah. Although, I do the feeling of not being able to exit the station. What happens if you just get off the last train and just, how do you get out? I don't know. There's probably something in place for that, <laughs> but I, 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 don't, I don't want to be the one to test that out. So our next place we're going to is braiding. All of the sort of branding for this line is all just island line. There isn't really any mention of Southwestern Railway anywhere. It's sort of kind of how like Luton Airport expresses to EMR. Right, well we're at Braiding now and uh, we're very noisily running over the bridge because this is a passing loop. Well, a newly built passing loop, so the trains arrive at the same time. Oh, we actually made it. That's a surprise. I mean, I, we didn't plan for that. I but. didn't really want to spend 40 minutes in braiding. Yeah. There wasn't oh well. really much there. Now, since I didn't have time to explain it while we were at the station, I'll explain now. So, that platform we were on um, was actually out of use until very recently, where a new passing loop was built at braiding to allow for a slightly more consistent service. Whereas I think before it was like 20, 40, 20, 40 minutes gap between services, and now it's a consistent sort of two trains per hour-ish service. Another cool thing about the island line is, you know, on the actual island of Great Britain, where you'll have network rail who manage all the infrastructure and then the TOCs that manage, well, the actual rail services. Unlike there though, here on the island line, everything is done by SWR all the infrastructure, the station buildings, everything. So, they've got full responsibility here. I'm pretty sure it's this exact tunnel, which is why they have to use old tube trains on the Isle of Wight. Something to do with clearance issues. So now that we're at Ride Pierhead, we're now walking to ride Esplanade we're going to try down and the pier. Beat the train. Yes, back. we're essentially trying to beat the train. We've got about 10 minutes to do a 10 minute walk. Ride definitely does look quite pretty from this angle. It's a very good view. One really bizarre thing about this is when the tide gets super high, it splashes up onto the electrified track, which definitely isn't safe, but. Yeah, the salt water on third rail doesn't sound like a great combination. But behind me there, you can see Portsmouth in all of its glory. I'm definitely glad we have come now though, because Ride Pier Head is going to be closed for nine months in about two weeks from now. I mean, it's incredibly likely by the time this video goes out, it will already be closed. So uh, if you're watching this video and it made you think, hmm, I want to go and ride Ride Pier Head, S sorry about that. Well, yeah, we made it to Esplanade in time for the final train to ride St. John's Road. And we get to slowly watch the train come down the pier. And uh, there's a uh, hovercraft pulling in now. Stop remaining. Ride St John's Road. The next station is Ride St John's Road. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. So the final stop, Ride St John's Road. Huh. We've now been to every island line station. That took what less time than. I would have thought, but I yeah. guess you, when you've got a nine mile stretch of train track. It's surprisingly <laughs> short, isn't it? This would appear to be the location of the depot for the island line, so that's cool. And there's also a bay platform over there, platform three, which is used for when some trains terminate here at St John's Road. But anyway, so that was a fun trip. Yep. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, we appreciate it. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a massive shout out to all of my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now, and a warm welcome to my new standard premium member, S. It's a new record for shortest name we've got. <laughs> Thank you all for supporting the channel.